Of course, none of this comes without controversy and pitched opposition from Democrats, along with allied healthcare and environment activists. The bill also effectively ends Obamacare's individual mandate and opens up the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge to oil and gas drilling. Perhaps most notably, the cuts favor corporations more than individuals and, over time, skew sharply in favor of the rich and big business. Trump's response has been, in many cases, to ignore those details and instead focus on the cuts he says will benefit lower income taxpayers, though he couldn't help but note on Friday that corporations are literally going wild over this. Trump is the largest, I always say the most massive, but it's the largest tax cut in the history of our country, and reform, but tax cut. Reality it's not. According to an analysis by CNN's Sam Petula and Tali Yellen, as seen below, Trump's cut will be the fifth largest since 1964. In fairness, two of those both by Obama were extensions of expiring legislation. But JFK and Ronald Reagan both sign larger cuts, and by a good margin. Trump the individual mandate is being repealed. When the individual mandate is being repealed, that means Obamacare is repealed. Because they get their money from the individual mandate. So the individual mandate is being repealed. Reality expect to see and hear Trump's words a lot in 2018, as Democrats tie the tax bill which is very unpopular to GOP efforts to repeal Obamacare also unpopular. They'll also know testaments that show 13 million people could lose coverage as a result, with premium hikes for others. From a legislative standpoint, this statement is also flawed. As CNN's Byron Wolf explained on Wednesday, the mandate is not being repealed, rather, the tax penalty is being reduced to zero. So the now toothless mandate remains on the books, as does Medicaid expansion for the states that accepted it. Obamacare subsidies are also on the table for revival, with Republican Senator Susan Collins promising to push for an stabilization bill next year as part of the deal she struck with GOP leaders on the Hill in exchange for her tax vote. Trump excited to be heading home to see the House pass a great tax bill with the middle class getting big tax cuts. Reality again, while not entirely false. This from a November tweet is fundamentally misleading. While 80% of tax filers will see some kind of cut, they aren't the main target of the bill. As Trump himself conceded on Wednesday, the corporate cut, from 35% to 21%, is probably the biggest factor in this plan. It's also a permanent cut, unlike everyone else's. Those expire in 2025 and could lead to higher taxes for some middle-class families. Additionally, by capping state and local tax deductions at $10,000, people in higher taxed states, like Andy Trump power bases New York and California, could end up owing more right away. Trump America's tax code is a total dysfunctional mess, it is riddled with loopholes that let some special interests, including myself, in all fairness, it is going to cost me a fortune, this thing, believe me, believe me, this is not good for me. Reality the tax bill will almost surely further enrich Trump and his family. It's hard to say for sure because he never released his returns, but even White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders recently conceded that Trump stands to benefit. To start, the individual rate for the highest earners will drop to 37% from 39.6%. Then there's the new pass-through provision, which will allow small businesses like the Trump Organization, which had been taxed at the individual rates, to take a 20% deduction. And then there's the estate tax. Congrats are due here to the Trump kids. Park Money's Julia Horowitz's comprehensive rundown of the bill, the amount of money exempt from the estate tax, previously set at $5.49 million.